Jim Jordan grills DOJ official on Loretta Lynch's actions. Republican Ohio Representative Jim Jordan went after a Department of Justice official over James Comey's claim that Loretta Lynch asked him to refer to the Clinton investigation as a matter. Acting Deputy Assistant Attorney General Richard Downing, who has served in the DOJ for 18 years, testified in front of the House Judiciary Committee Thursday. Mr. Comey testified that former uh, Attorney General Loretta Lynch told him to, when he discussed the Clinton investigation, to call it a matter, not an investigation, Jordan said. Do you agree with that decision that was made? I don't have an opinion one way or another on that, Downing said, leading Jordan to get more intense with his line of questioning. Do you think it's wise for the Justice Department to mislead the American people, he asked. Of course, the Justice Department should do its best not to mislead anyone, Downing replied. Jordan shot back that perhaps it was misleading to refer to the Clinton investigation as a matter, while refusing to clarify that President Trump was not under investigation. Downing again said he didn't have an opinion, but admitted he had no basis to believe that an attorney general had ever before instructed a high-level official to mislead the public. I think what the American people would appreciate is their highest officials at the DOJ should be straight with the American people, Jordan said, and that did not happen. Representative Jim Jordan uh, Q&A about Loretta Lynch's Justice Department action. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Downey, how long have you been at the Department of Justice? Um, coming up on uh, 18 years. Okay, 18 years. We appreciate your service. Uh, a week ago, Mr. Comey, former FBI Director Mr. Comey, testified that then Attorney General Loretta Lynch told him to, when he discussed the Clinton investigation, to call it a matter, not an investigation. You recall that testimony from Mr. Comey? I had heard uh, news reports of that. Okay. Okay. Were, were you part of the discussion and decision at the Justice Department to instruct the FBI director not to call an investigation an investigation? Uh, no, sir. I'm a career employee uh, of the Justice Department, and I was not involved in any of that uh, level of... Do you agree with uh, that, that, uh, that decision that was made and, frankly, implemented by the FBI director? I'm afraid, sir, I don't have an opinion one way or the other on that. Do you know if that's ever happened before, where the Attorney General tells the FBI Director to portray something uh, differently than what is actually happening, and I, not to call an investigation an investigation? I'm afraid I have no information for you on that. Um, were you part of any decision by the Justice Department to allow the perception to continue that President Trump was under investigation? Um, when in fact he wasn't and was told three times by the FBI director that he wasn't. I'm trying to make clear I am not involved in decisions of that level and I have no information about it. Uh, do, do you think it's wise for the Justice Department to mislead the American people? Of course, the Justice Department should do its best to not to mislead anyone. And you would agree that in both situations the American people were misled? I have no basis to answer that question. Well, think really? About in one situation, it was an investigation, and the FBI director was instructed to call it something different, to call it a matter. In the other situation, the President of the United States was not under investigation, and yet that would not be confirmed, not be stated, and the perception was allowed to exist that, in fact, he was. Correct. Twice the American people were misled by the head of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. So That's true. probably not a good thing, is it? I have no uh, opinion for you on that. You're fired. But, you know, you've served 18 years at the Justice Department. You went to Stanford Law School. You're a smart guy, a good lawyer. Is that normally how it operates? They should be the all Department fired. Of Justice? And well, let me ask this. Do you know of any other occasion where the Attorney General has instructed someone with an important job like running the FBI to mislead the American people? I have no basis to believe that, no. You don't think it's ever happened before? You don't know of any other time it's happened? I don't have any opinion on that, no. What about the leak? So what do we have you what there? What about the idea that the head of the FBI decides to give information to a friend who's then going to pass it to the New York Times? 
that be something that actually takes place, even though, even though at the time he was a former FBI director, is that appropriate for someone who's held that position to engage in that kind of activity? I'm afraid I also don't have an opinion on that. But as again, as someone who's... Sorry to interrupt, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think? What are we paying for over here? Sorry about that. I've worked at the Department of Justice for 18 years, Stanford Law Degree. You think that's an appropriate kind of conduct for someone who has served in the Justice Department? Particularly at a high, not just, not just, not even as high level as you, but someone who's been head of the FBI. I think I could say that the FBI is a higher level than me. The FBI director is a higher level than me. No, I, I'm sorry, sir. I don't have an opinion about these kinds of questions. I understand the, the motivation and the need to try to get to answers on these questions, but I'm not the right person to be in a, in a position to answer them for you, sir. I, I appreciate you uh, trying to respond, Mr. Downing. But what I also um, think the American people would appreciate is their the highest officials at the Department of Justice should be straight with the American people. And that did not happen. No, no ifs, ands, buts about it. Did not happen. And it was, they were misled at the direction of the Attorney General. Mr. Comey's testimony was real clear. He even questioned, he said, do we really want to do that? Don't we want to tell the American people the truth? And yet he followed, he carried out the order from the Attorney General to mislead the American people and say it was a matter, not an investigation. And of course, as I've said a couple times, he allowed the perception to continue that our current president of the United States was under investigation when in fact he was not. And with that, Mr. Chairman, would the gentleman yield? I'd be happy to yield to the chairman. Mr. Downing, I understand you can't always speak about things that are in your, your main wheel house, if you will. Have you ever spoken to the press off the record, provided any information about an ongoing case to a press person? Uh, I've certainly spoken to the press off the record, sir. Um, of course, we are very careful about what we disclose and we try to do our best to uh, stay within the lines, certainly at my level. Okay, so I'll take that as a yes. Thank you. It's disgraceful. You know, where is Trump? You're fired. That's the only thing that comes to my mind. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and thank you so much for watching.